Throughout history, Chinese artists have found a way to show harmony between man and nature. The David vases are one of the best known porcelain vases in the world due to their uncommon inscriptions around their necks, dating all the way back to May 13, 1351. They were originally altar vases and presented as an offering to a Taoist temple in China. The patron was Zing Hung Wenji. They are named after Sir Percival David, who is the man that purchased these vases and has the world's greatest collection of the Chinese ceramics. The David vases were created during the Yuan Dynasty when China was in the Mongol Empire. Trade bloomed between China and the Middle East, which created a cross-cultural connection. Their vases were created with the use of porcelain and cobalt. Porcelain, a pure clay, originated in China. This is a special ceramic that hardens after being fired at high temperatures, which made it admired by many. Then we have cobalt, the blue mineral that was used to paint the motifs, originated from Iran. These vases are often thought of Chinese, but they are actually the result of a global Mongol empire. These vases are two and a half feet tall and have been crafted with an elegant shape, narrowing at the top and bottom, enlarging into a full central body. Palm leaves and flowers fill the base and the neck, but the main body of each vase has a thin Chinese dragon flying around, surrounded by clouds. The scaled, bearded, and clawed dragons can be thought of as a symbol of male energy or an emperor, while the phoenix, located at the lower part of the neck, is a symbol of female energy or as an empress. These two main motives are believed to be interpreted as a part of the Taoism religion. A piece that has many comparisons to the David vases is the Jade Kong. The Jade Kong was created during the Shang and Zhao dynasty and it was found in China just like the porcelain in the David vases. The main connection between these two pieces is the importance of symbolism and meaning. The Jade Kong were often buried with the dead. The main types of Kong have a square outer section and a circular inner part. The Kong represents the earth and the hole in the middle represents the sky. It was thought that these would accompany the dead into the afterworld, with the Kong that connected the body with the earth. They were placed on the body in the grave of persons of high social status. Main decorations or symbols of the Kong are the face patterns. These refer to spirit or deities. On the square section pieces, the face pattern is placed across the corners. The faces are a combination of a man-like figure and a mysterious beast. These images are related to the religious symbol or spirit of transformation that evolves a human with power over the animal realm. The Chinese believe that the world of nature could be understood and mediated. This was continuously represented through their artwork. Through the use of jade and porcelain, the Chinese culture produced many beautiful pieces of art that continue to be used through the world today.